Okay, now that we have uh, digitized these parts, uh, I'm going to go ahead and model that section of the piece. So the first thing I'm going to do is find out the my diameters over here of the circles that I digitized. So I'll go over here to my analyze distance and from quadrant to quadrant, I have 1.42 inches. And from quad to quad, I have 0.52 inches. Very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend maybe by two inches. Enter this edge and that edge and this edge and that edge. So now I have the plane that completely covers up the this part over here. So at this point, uh, I can move these guys out of my way because I know this is 1.42 in diameter. So I'm going to go to uh, my circle here go to my center where I want it over here, click diameter. I'm putting here 1.42, enter. There's my circle. The next one, I'm going to activate center. Do the same command again from the center of that one. And this one is gonna be 0 0.52. So here are my two circles. Uh, this part here I no longer need. I already got my actual accurate uh, circles. Now that I have this plane and the two circles, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select those two circles and I'm going to solid extrude and I'm going to extrude them up to here. Uh, both sides no. Uh, cap yes. And I'm going to extrude them up to here. there and uh, if we go ahead and do the shade mode here I can see that I have that cylindrical part of this uh, model if I put this away and on height here is uh, the rest of the model after I followed through and I went ahead and digitized the same all the information or where all the holes were, where all the parts were. And uh, I was able to model this in Rhino using the digitized data very quickly and very easily.